Okay, as the title says, um, weapons to bring to Garden of Salvation Raid. Uh, I'm gonna start by the heavy slot for the first encounter. I recommend using sword, eager edge sword. If you don't have a sword or eager edge in general, you can run a normal sword or you can run uh, a machine gun. So that's usually the best two options. Now, if you don't wanna run these two, you can run a grenade launcher. You can also run a rocket. Now the weapons that I mentioned in the beginning are the most optimal, which is sword, machine gun, and then again you could do grenade launcher, you could do rockets, you can even do linears. As you can see, many many options. Now the second slot I recommend Trini Goal just because you deal with a lot of ads. Now if you don't have Trini Goal, you can do Sunshot. If you don't have these two, you can run Forbearance. Let's say you have it. Forbearance, Trini Goal. Sunshot, any SMG, or a hand cannon, like normal legendary hand cannon. You can also run pulses or autos just because there is uh, overload that you're gonna deal with. Whether you run overload or not, you can still kill them regardless by you know just shooting them as fast as possible with your teammates. Uh, but again, I usually run training goal. As for the primary slot, you can do succession. Uh, you can also do Izanagi's Burden. You can do like a normal weapon, Izanagi's Burden here. Succession is great. You could do Conditional with a Horde. And you can also run Arbalus if you want to. Fusion, Shotgun. As you can see, many options. And that's pretty much for the first encounter. I, I guess I would add up one weapon. A lot of people use it in farming and speedrunning. Oh, she's the fourth horseman just because you can kill the uh, overload really quick so you can do that if you want to and if you don't want to you can run like a fusion and then you can do a pulse for pulse auto for overload or you can do also a shotgun okay and that's for the first encounter now for a second encounter heavy wise you want to run again swords for mobility and also they they do a really good job you can run machine gun, you can run Galahorn, you can do Lament, which is amazing. I also recommend it highly. If you're not farming or speedrunning, like just run it to run it. Lament is a great, great option. There's barriers there, so you know it can deal with barriers, it can heal you, and it does great damage. Lament, Galahorn, Xenophage, Rockets, Linears. Uh, grenade launcher, swords, machine guns, any of them as a heavy slot can work. Now, secondary slot, you can run fusion, you can run the fourth horseman, you can deal with the berries there, instant, and deal with angelics. Sunshot, great for ad clear. You can run forbearance, great for ad clear. Oriana's vow, great for, uh, you know, substantial damage against the bears to pierce them and all that. Trini Gold is just amazing. You can run SMG if you want to. Let's say Sword, SMG, you can. So, so these are the secondary slots for the second encounter. As for the primary slot, you can run Forerunner to deal with the barriers. You can run Wish Ender to deal with the barriers. And then Conditional to also deal with the barriers. You also have Arbalus, which is what I recommend. A great, great option would be Arbalus, Forbearance, Eager at Sword. Now, if you feel like you're gonna run out of ammo, you can run like SMG or Hand Cannon, like Zalus Bane if you have that from Kingsfall. This will be a great build, that's the most optimal. You can run Shotgun, and then Forerunner, like I said, Conditional with a Horde. You can even run Succession, Wish Ender, Osteo, and then Fusion with chill clip because it can definitely delay the uh, anti-bears. And that's for the second encounter. For a third encounter, um, there's many options and different styles of damage. Now, if you are on Moach team, <coughs> you can do, um, you could do the other half to like get the Moach really quick and go bank them. Then you can swap to support one, which is tractor cannon. Because you need a form of debuff, which is 30%. So get the most by using um, Eager Edge. 
and then add them and swap the tractor cannon to give your team 30% debuff. That's option one. Now option two, you can do galley for support two, and then the rest will use rockets. And then if you don't want to do that, in my runs when I teach personally, we do linears. It just works. People are not gonna, you know, die by <laughs> rocketing themselves or grenade launchers. Uh, we do linears, so we can have a linear, and then one person on a tractor cannon, so we get that thirty percent debuff. Linears and tractor cannon, they work amazing. We won phase most of the time. I've seen ninety-five percent of our runs we won phase just by using that. And so again, linear tractor cannon. These are the best two in my opinion. Rockets are fast, but just, you know, if one mistake, people move a lot, you might end up in a bad situation. Secondary slot, <clears throat> you could do the fourth horseman to deal with the um, minotaurs to get your moats as fast as possible. This will delete the minotaur. Fusion, also really, really good option. Forbearance for fast ad clear slash also dealing with the minotaur. And also as well, sunshot for ad clear, and also you can deal with the minotaur. Not optimal for minotaur, but again, it works. SMG, especially Void Burn, like Funnel Web here, or Recluse, uh, amazing. Trinity Goal, same thing, amazing for Act Clear. So these are all options that you can do. Primary slot, if you are on Moats, you could do Fusion, or you can do Shotgun. Fusion or Shotgun. You can also run Sniper if you like. I don't recommend it, but you can. Now, if you're on Ice Team, I recommend using a shotgun just because you can solo eyes and it one shots the eyes really quick really quick and efficient now if you don't want to run that in you can just run an smg to deal with the eyes they're a bit slow but you know they do the work and that's all the uh, options you can also by the way i guess you can say add up conditional as like this will be a great build minotaur add clear slash eyes <coughs> and then you could do linear rockets or support okay and then for the final encounter I recommend succession and then you can run training goal succession training goal and then rockets so if I'm just damaged then I'm gonna do rockets if I'm support I'm gonna do let's say an SMG or hand cannon or a pulse or auto or anything really and then you can do uh, Galahorn. So Galahorn, any Hackley weapon, and a sniper. We only use the snipers really to, when say people pull left or right or you're sending people, and it also deals with the Cyclops on left and right. Uh, so sniper is a must in my opinion. Now if you don't have a sniper you can run Arbalus right here. Sniper, Arbalus, these are the best. You can also run here a sniper in this slot if you want to. And rockets, support, Galahorn for world pack, and then normal legendary rockets. You can also do grenade launchers for damage if you don't want to do rockets. You can also do linears, which I don't recommend. They used to do a really good job, but rockets and grenade launchers seems to be the play. One act clear weapon, you can run like for example grenade launcher, train eagle which is great for ad clear and then getting the modes fast. This is an amazing build here. And this is another amazing build to do. You can also do Sunshot. You don't have these two, any ad clear weapon, close range, Sniper, Arbalus. And that's it for Garden of Salvation weapons.